Hi and welcome to this lesson on systems of linear equations. Now a linear equation is so called because if I were to plot the possible solutions it will form a straight line. So if I look at um, the equation x plus y is equal to 2 very simply all of the possible values for x and y if they are plotted on a Cartesian plane in other words if I draw the Cartesian plane the y and the x so this is going to be the y-axis and that's the x-axis and if I were to look at all the values for x and y that gives me 2 when I add it I know that the value 1 for x and 1 for y 1 plus 1 equals 2 which means that point when x is 1 and y is 1 will equal 2 I also know 2 plus 0 when x is 2 and y is 0 will also give me 2 which means x is 2 and y is 0 this point and then finally or well not finally another one is 0 plus 2 0 plus 2 also gives me 2 which means when x is 0 and y is 2 0 for x 2 for y that point will also give me a solution which means in the end I will have this solution set all the points that lie on this straight line will be a solution for example if I'm at 3 for x then y will be at negative 1 and I know 3 minus 1 is also equal to 2 that is why it is called a linear equation okay now a system of linear equations is when I have a few of these at the same time so we can see that this equation has many solutions now what if I had two equations what if I had x plus y is equal to 2 and x minus y is equal to 0 well if I draw this one and I'll just quickly draw it that equation will look like this if drawn that's the linear function it's supposed to be a straight line will look like that and now we can see the only solution that fits both of these lines at the same time is where these two lines intersect and that's the point 1 comma 1 we write it like that 1 comma 1 which means when x is 1 and y is 1 this will be true and that will be true at the same time because 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 which means this system of equations linear equations has one solution and that solution is 1 comma 1 so um, what options do we have when we go and draw uh, or solve linear equations in general well, when we solve linear equations we can have one of three possibilities either we can have the possibility that we just saw that the one equation represented by a line intersects with another equation exactly once of course two lines when they intersect can intersect in only one point it can't be in two points or three points okay that means it's one solution and that solution will be unique there won't be another solution the other possibility is if I have two lines or two linear equations but this time they are parallel to each other which means they will never intersect that means we will have no solution this is typically where the two equations are multiples of each other on the one side but not on the other side so some sorry let's call this x1 and that one x2 and then x1 plus x2 
is equal to 1. Here we can see typical example of lines that will never intersect. The final one is when the two lines are actually the same line. So then we have one line that actually lies on top of another line. Okay, I'm just going to draw it a little bit off of each other so you can see the two separate lines. Okay, this is when we actually have the same line. For example, we might have x plus y is equal to 1 as our one e equation, and the other one might be 2x plus 2y is equal to 2. These two equations are actually saying the same thing, even though they're two different equations. They're act well, they seem to be the same one. And this is another possibility, and in this case, we will have infinitely many solutions. Every point on that line will be a solution to both of these equations at the same time. Okay. And there's the three options if we're working with two unknowns. An x and a y, for example. This will be the case. And you will also see we're also working in two directions. An x direction and in a y direction. And that is why we call it 2D. And we have a two-dimensional picture. Okay. In the next video, we'll look at how do we actually find that solution to the two equations. See you in the next video.